Okay guys, welcome back. Let's have a look at the shrine right now. As we can see, we have Beast of Prey. Now, Beast of Prey is a little bit of an interesting perk. It comes from the Huntress and it's unlocked at level 30. Um, I do not recommend this perk for a couple of reasons. You need to build Bloodlust to then in order to hide your light naturally because a beam of light comes out of the center of your chest, right? This is a really bad perk in terms of a lot of good loopers will always have their eye on you at jungle gyms and be able to see you, know the rotations, know when to cycle if you're going to try too many massive mind games. It can work not at rank 1, but I feel at rank 1 it's going to be a very very weighed down perk. If you had it when you initiated a chase, rather than having to wait 15 seconds to build Bloodlust to then gain it, it'll be a lot better. It does give you bonus blood points and hunting throughout the match, but not as an end game result. So all in all, I do not think Beast of Prey is a very good perk. Um, you were better off getting into the habit of this per uh, this kind of movement called hiding your light. Now what is hiding your light? Hiding your light is when you face one direction and you move whack backwards using the S key or whatever it is on a controller. So you're, you're showing your beam of light in front of you, but then you walk backwards and you turn and you hit someone, giving them smaller time to react. It's a very highly sought after tier kind of skill. Um, certain killers is harder to use, like Michael Myers, because he's really tall, can be seen under over certain jungle gyms, as opposed to the hag can make real good use of it. So can the pig, believe it or not. Uh, moving on to the next perk, guys. All in all, I would not purchase Beast of Prey. I think it is a waste of money. All in all, Fired Up. Holy crap, we're not looking too good this week, guys. Fired Up is another really bad perk. This rewards you for having the survivors complete objectives. You do not want them to complete objectives. It allows your actions to be going faster, like breaking pallets, vaulting windows, and kicking gens. It's not really too great. I mean, it gives you a little bit of bang for your buck for everything, but the time you get to its fullest power, when four generators are completed, you need to kind of proxy the jennies and the survivors at the same time to try and make sure the exit gates aren't powered. It is not a very powerful powerful perk you're better off running brutal strength or enduring depending on what you're playing if you're respecting pallets with play with your food or if you're just going through them with enduring um spirits fury all in all i think this is a poor man's enduring at rank one you're better off just walking into a pallet taking the stun breaking it and cycling if he's at a really good loop etc if you can get things for free get them for free and cycle along i do not recommend fired up it is a freddy krueger perk and it can stay a freddy krueger perk not even freddy freaking recommends fired up it's pretty bad I mean, you will see people running around with fired up, brutal strength, bamboozled, and enduring on the wraith while running um, break pallets faster, and it breaks them instantly, don't get me wrong, but that's very situational, and it's a bit of a meme build as opposed to an actual serious build. Right, finally, we're looking at something really cute in the shrine. Now, this is called Prove Thyself. This is a Dwight teachable perk. It is very, very good. I believe it is a level 35 teachable perk off the top of my head. Uh, what I can say about this perk is... Thank you for the sub, yes, my guy. You know I love you, bro. Your boy, Lee, I really do appreciate the resub, man. Thank you very much. I will be with you very soon. I'm just quickly, um, quickly sorting this out. Um, Prove Thyself is a very good perk in terms of it allows you to have the ability to work on a generator 10% quicker with an ally. Now, if you notice when two people are on a generator, you'll have a little red arrow above it. If you're wondering what that means, that means there's 10% diminishing returns for multiple people working on a generator. Using Prove Thyself and having two people on a generator equals 4.4 seconds faster objective work in terms of how long it'll take the generator to be complete. On top of that, you also get a bonus 100% blood points if you have it tier 3. It's very good for getting a lot of money. Uh, when there's three people on a generator, it's a 20% diminishing returns and when there's um, four people it is 30% diminishing returns prove thyself only stacks once and it stacks on the people on the Jenny as well as yourself so as long as one person's around you're getting the benefit from it not to be confused with leader leader benefits you for everything except objective work whether that be hook saves uh, not you but whoever's around you in the vic uh, vicinity so it benefits your allies for searching chests hook saves, stavoing, opening exit gates. It's not a too bad perk, don't get me wrong, but Prove Thyself is really good for farming blood points and getting Jennies done quick if you are struggling to do it. The only negative effect with Prove Thyself is you have to stack on an objective. If you're versing a really good killer, split pressure is generally how you're going to win the game. That way she doesn't get you off the Jenny, hook the guy right in front of the Jenny and kick the Jenny with Pop Goes a Weasel and Soft Camp. Do you know what I mean? You're better off Splitting pressure, unless you're very comfortable with the loop you're at, you can see miles in front of you where the killer's coming from. You know it's got a 32 meter heartbeat killer. There are a couple of times you can go, oh no, this is a better option. If you all rush the middle Jenny in the middle of the map, sometimes that works good on like a Huntress where she has 110% movement speed and has to go around the skirt. It can be a good perk. It helps you get a good amount of blood points. It's not bad. I'm not going to try and sell you on it saying it's the best perk in the game, but it'll get you a lot of blood points. You won't have to do many objectives to cap out, and it's uh, it's pretty cute. All in all, we're moving on to Wake Up. Now, Wake Up, uh... Oh, let me tell you something about Wake Up. It's 5, 10, and 15% opening the exit gate quicker. But let's do a little bit of math. 
all your allies can see you within 128 meters. That's pretty much most map. It's, it's pretty big, I'm not going to lie, 128 meters. Um, looking at this, 15% quicker. Realistically, you're better off having an ally open the door with leader at a 25% benefit. You would open the door faster than if you actually had wake up. Then again, you need to have an ally there. That means there's two of you there. That means um, wake up also allows you to see people, uh, well, your allies to see you when you're opening the door. It's not a great perk. If I'm going to be honest with you, looking at the shrine, it's not very impressive. We're looking at something called Beast of Prey. Not great. Fired up. Not great. Wake up. Not great. Prove thyself is realistically your only good option this week. Um, I would say saves your shards. Uh, prove thyself is great for a survivor main that wants to try and split pressure on Jen. Oh, well, not split pressure, but stack on Jennies. It works well with things like bond as well, so you know where someone is, so you can actually group up and stack on the Jennies. You have to be four meters away, so if you are searching a chest beside a generator within four meters, your allies will be getting that benefit and being able to work faster on the objective as well, so keep that in mind. It's not a bad perk, but all in all, I don't think the shrine is too great this week. Um, anyways, guys... You probably would have heard a notification a second ago. Um, I am live on Twitch right now, so I'm going to get back to Twitch.